Let's go back to Canberra. Joining us is the National Senator, Matt Canavan. A couple of uh, two totally unrelated topics today for you today. Matt, the High Court to release its findings a little later on today. Uh, obviously, hard to know what it's going to say specifically, but what are you expecting? Well, obviously, uh, the government uh, wasn't expecting this decision. They decided just to uh, pin all their hopes uh, on the best outcome for them and not prepare for the worst. And Look, I, I don't really know also what's what, what, what's going yeah. to happen here or what the decisions and reasons were for. Keep in mind, the initial government response to the decision was to say we won't do anything until the reasons for the High Court decision are released. So here we are three weeks later after the decision, getting those decisions. And so the government's initial plan uh, in response to the High Court decision was to uh, release uh, a bunch of hardened criminals onto our streets for three weeks uh, without any plan uh, to be able to control them or keep the safety of Australians in check. Now, they only acted then, only changed that approach because of the backlash that occurred mm. from the wider public about this. And it just showed how shows how unprepared the government was for the situation. Well, one of them who can't be contacted, Matt. I mean, that's troubling, is it not? Uh, it, absolutely amazing. And uh, the government needs to respond here and and but level with the Australian people about what exactly has happened here. There seems to be a complete lack of coordination and communication between government ministers in related portfolios. I mean, one minister gets asked a question, they then say, you have to ask the other minister. I mean, why don't they talk to each other? Don't they prepare uh, for media interviews and, uh, and have basic answers for the Australian people? Uh, it's very, very concerning that the government here just doesn't seem to have a handle on our national security and the security okay. and safety of Australians. Uh, and uh, I think they need to get their act together. Speaking of national security, so uh, China's back again. Uh, a Chinese fighter jet shadowed Australian-Filipino joint patrols of the South China Sea on the weekend after HMAS Toowoomba completed a transit of the Taiwan Strait. Just spoke to Simon Birmingham about this. I mean, would you expect that Penny Wong raises this with this Chinese delegation that's in Canberra today? Well, I hope so, and I hope she then levels with the Australian people about what she did raise or didn't raise, uh, because it's been an embarrassing and faltering performance from our Prime Minister uh, in the past two weeks. Uh, there is no doubt that he should have raised uh, the injuries, the actual injuries that occurred to Australian Navy officers uh, as a result of uh, mm. inappropriate uh, Chinese military actions. Uh, he clearly did not raise that, given he won't be up front with the Australian people. He's embarrassed about it now uh, and won't tell us what he said. He clearly didn't raise it. It was a massive failure, a test. A test. The, the Chinese, they're clearly testing Australian officials here, just pushing and seeing how far they can push. And our Prime Minister failed that test. He failed to stand up for yeah. Australian diggers. Uh, and defend them. Uh, hopefully, Penny Wong corrects that today. Well, but I mean, as I say, more importantly, is hopefully she's she's level uh, with the Australian and, people. And, and how bad? Just on discuss. just on this other incident. I mean, it's still relatively fresh. Uh, it's the first I ever heard of it this morning. But I mean, just shadowing someone. I mean, th this often happens in the South China Sea. But how provocative can it be? Well, uh, my concern is that uh, it's these types of actions that can lead to uh, a bigger incident. Uh, right. flying these types of, of, uh, of jets at these speeds so close to each other, there's always a risk that something goes wrong mm. uh, and then causes a, a wider flashpoint of, of conflict. Uh, so it is completely inappropriate actions, in my view, from the uh, Chinese military. As I say, they're, they're constantly seeking to test Western countries, test our metal, and it's been pretty proven over the past few weeks that our Prime Minister doesn't have the metal. Uh, for the job. He doesn't have the medal to defend Australia's interests. Uh, and it's, it's very, very concerning for all Australians. Mm. Looks like that's coming through on News Poll as well. Matt Canavan, we'll talk to you soon.